Welcome back to A Gang Adventures. Today we're in Vermont, and this episode is filled full of surprises for us as we navigate the uh, challenges of day two on the road. This bridge, our RV trip wizard said we can fit. People at the campground said don't go this way. So, um, I'm gonna hop out and make sure, cause we know the height of our camper, but we're not 100% sure about the air conditioning. So, Kira's gonna hop out. You see what happens? This beam. Woo. Wait for me. <laughs> Bye, family. No, she's roaring back there. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's having a great little time. I don't think uh <laughs> Are you a dinosaur? Yeah. yeah. Are you a Velociraptor or a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Tyrannosaurus Rex? Okay. Any moose? I see no moose. Wah! Marley, do you see any moose? I saw a loon. Wow. Some good duckweed. Actually, that's literally where I feel like you'd see a moose explode out of it. Yeah. Duckweed. duckweed. No, it's duckweed. Always looking for moose. Still haven't seen one. Maybe this trip. Hopefully from a safe distance because they're actually quite terrifying creatures. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hopefully not on a hike. <laughs> and if we see it on a hike, I hope the GoPro's on because you'll hear me scream. <laughs> Moose. driving on dirt <laughs> yeah but up up here in the northern states they they always have to redo the roads because of the frost and the freeze and it breaks apart the roads really easily but uh we've had some interesting uh pavement options on on this route and if it was paved this route would be absolutely lovely in its current state it's uh a little aggressive but hey, Marley is absolutely enjoying all the bumps. She thinks it's funny. The cats, not so much. <laughs> but, so, you know, even if it's an RV safe route, just always be prepared for construction or whatever on the road, just because you never know what it's actually going to look like. Because this road, again, paved, it would be perfect. But right now it is not in uh, the most ideal path, but we're taking our time and taking it slow.
Here, too. You're in charge. Okay. No, no, no. Tegan's in charge. What no, no, no. Just it? talk or videotape or whatever you want to do with it. You got a couple minutes. Well, you gotta hold it up. Boom. Got us. Okay. We are. I put them away. Now we're at our second campground with Ski Dye, and we're gonna stay here for how many nights? Three I nights. think it was Nor. No, it's four. Yeah. No, it's wait. <laughs> no, it's four. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And yeah. I'm here with my sister, Mommy, and Mommy gave me it to videotape it. And we are now at the campground. So it's pretty cool around here. Daddy accidentally broke it. He pulled it up. Do you want to come over here? I'm videotaping. Uh, I gotta go help Daddy, you know. <laughs> Let's watch Daddy videotape this. So look at that. He's doing it perfectly as I would be. That is moving the word. I shouldn't have said that. And Daddy broke this. <laughs> No, don't look at me. He broke it. Luckily, this thing. So we are now settled in to Vermont. We're kind of set up and finally good. Uh, we had a good dinner and whatnot, but I wanted to take this time to remind you that if things start going wrong, to just kind of stop, take a step back and start over. Uh, we had a lot of trouble getting the camper into our spot and it wasn't a bad spot or anything like that it was plenty big enough um we had Kira practice getting it in she got it in fine um but the spot was really on level and that kind of threw us for a loop because we went to put the uh, anderson leveling blocks down and couldn't get it up high enough so we tried putting regular blocks down didn't work um so then i decided okay we're just going to move the camper to a, a more level area of the campsite. And that's when things started to fall apart. I don't know if we were just frazzled from the drive or from trying to get the camper in the right spot to level, but it took us half an hour to get that camper backed in. And I should have just pulled out and started over, taking a deep breath and we'd been fine. But instead we just kind of kept trying to jimmy it back and forth. and. It turned out to be terrible, so we just decided to start over, pulled it in fine. Hello. Telling them about all the things that started going wrong. It's been a day. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a day. It has been. But the sun is setting. Yep. We're gonna have a campfire, maybe some s'mores. Tomorrow's a new day. What Kira's not telling you is that when she put the slide out out, a whole bottom piece just started coming on done and all of the screws popped out and we ended up with two pieces of our slides uh i'll, I'll put the video in here so you can see it uh power but, drill is our friend yeah basically we just need two more screws to fix it uh we lost two of the screws when when we slide came out it something got pinched and it ripped the kind of bottom molding off not a big deal but once again things just kept piling up um then I got in a fight with the water hose, which I got sprayed all over me because um, it wasn't, it's still leaking over there ridiculously. Um, and then I couldn't get the sewer out. It was stuck kind of, it ended up smashing together and getting stuck in the back of the camper. Um, so <laughs> it's just been one thing after another. So we decided to just stop. We stopped setting up completely, took a break, made food, and it turned out all right. Today, first day adventuring really through Vermont, we are going to Devil's Hill Trail. Um, it is rated as easy with an elevation gain of just shy of four, 500 feet, I believe, um, which is nice to start. Tegan can do a lot of it, but then Marley might be able to hike some of it. Um, it says it's about two miles, it's a loop with a good view. We have all the snacks and the food. The girls are excited. 
Molly's very excited to ride in the backpack. Mm -hmm. And we'll see what good views we get. Yay! So driving here, we had it in our GPS. We stopped to get for gas. We lost internet at the gas station. Luckily, G dot to the rescue, his GPS did not fail. So we need to figure out what happened there because we don't want that to keep happening. But Yeah, we'll, we'll catch up. Look at Mama's going. Come on, Micah. Go ahead. Lead the way. <laughs> she said we're eating lunch on the rock, so we always bring lunch or snacks to eat once we get to the top. Look what I see. What is it? Tegan loves jumping off rocks. So she is in heaven. Can you get it off? Good job. This one you might have to slide off of. I don't know that you can jump off this one. It's not just you. <laughs> you have to slide down. Uh, excuse me? Go ahead. If water runny, I'm not wanting. Your turn. All right, you ready? Stand up. Stand up. Nope. Here, one, two, three, stand up. All right, you ready? One, two, three, jump. Yep, good. One, two, three, jump. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Do it to me. Good I job. Like All right, I got to do it to TG. Yep, just, just wait. Turn. Wait for TG. One, on, more. one, two. Okay. One, two, three, jump. Woo! Marley, wait. All right, Marley. What do you see? Draw a marker. Where is it at? You want to touch it? What color is it? Blue. Blue. Good job. You want to get it to? Blue trail marker. Ready? Good job. Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Snacks. Marley and Drew are sharing a bag of chips on the hike down. She's at a hard age where she wants to hike, but she's two, so she hiked a lot of it up, actually. But turning it into a game, um, hitting the markers, getting the leaves, eating snacks slowly on the way down, helps distract the littles when they're tired, which is always good. And I hike her up, and Drew always hikes her down because of my knees down is harder, so Drew takes her down. After we finished our fun-filled hike, we went back to the campground where our neighbors gifted us with some free mini golf passes, and we decided to take the girls and go ahead and try it out. Tegan, what are we doing? Mini golf. Mini golf. Mini golf. Good, Good job. job. Mommy, now can I? Roll it. Go ahead, roll it. Good, Good job. job. All right, watch out, Marley. Come here. All right, Marley, step off the. Come here. Come back here. It's Tegan's turn. I to was hit. gonna laugh. That was almost a hole in one <laughs> with the throw. Hang on, let's oh, hold the club right. Hold on. Right. You. Yeah, just You're push okay. it. Yep. Good job, T. Yep. Good job. Yep. Now it's Marley's turn. Marley, you want you want to use the club or you want to throw it? Or you want to throw it? All right. Use the club. Hit it. Go ahead. Or you want Daddy assist? Here. Stand up here beside it. Here. You got the club? One. Here. That's okay. Put your hands on the club. Grab it. One, One two, two, three, three. Swing. Good job, Marley. Yep, go get it. Oh, you got it. Throw it. And then my turn. Watch out, Marley. Watch out. Watch out. Okay, Daddy's turn. Watch out. You're stuck at my shorts. Oh, maybe. Oh. Here you go, Daddy. All right, mommy's turn. It is a Here, go with Daddy. Go with Daddy. Yep, come over here. Should I? Nope. All right, we got mommy. Oh, we scared Marley. That's a geological. Let it go, Marley. That's a geological. Mini golf with a toddler. Hey! <laughs> Don't take my ball. Oh, Always a hole in one. Hey, mommy. But what's kind of cool is they actually put the. Survey, Survey marker right there yeah. in the golf course. Marley found it. Yeah. She was standing at it. Yeah. yeah it's kind of cool. <laughs> Tegan, what happened? I just got a hole in one. So Tegan got her first ever hole in one. Let's go see it. Whoop! There it is. Good job, Tegan. Tiggy, look! Hey! Yeah, got I got my own hole in one! Oh. Yesterday we were able to go for a nice hike and then played mini golf. So today we're going to start out with another hike. Um, this one is Huck's Trail. Um, should be pretty fun. It's going to be a harder hike. And then we'll go back and relax at the camp and maybe have a fire and a nice dinner tonight. Daddy. 
Go. So do you sign in? Yeah. Supposed to, but somebody tightened it to the point you can't get it off. Want me to try? I, I might be able to loosen it for you. <sighs> ah. There we go. Whew. Man strength. So people on all trails kept saying to go to the summit. We're at, this is the summit. So that was 619, or 76 is the last time somebody opened it. <laughs> And you sign in. That's the, that's the highest point of elevation. So it is seven seven or seven eight. What's today's seven, date? Seven eight. It's the eight. Yeah. <laughs> now that was funny. Yeah. So now on to the lake lookouts, right? I kept expecting like a granite dome or yeah. something, you know. Yeah. I Same. kept wondering why stone. that bottle was there. I was like, wait a minute, there's a bottle there. <laughs> but hey, on to the next lookouts, right? Yep. Yep. So, we just finished what was supposed to be a three mile hike. It turned it was into a. Much closer to four miles. It was a lot. It was very steep. It said easy. Um, it was not. It was definitely one of the moderate ones that we've done, which doesn't sound terrible, but for the girls, it was a little bit too much. Tegan. She did the whole thing. Did amazing though. Tegan did the whole thing by herself and has a much deserved break with her <laughs> iPad and milk back there. So she did great. Marley, uh, she turned into a silent mad person, which we'll take the silent. <laughs> um, we think she's teething. Yeah. Her, I don't know. She's been in a weird mood the past two days and her nose was running and normally that's a sign of teething so we might give her some Tylenol later so, but her and Haya basically ran down the mountain we got down about 20 minutes um, before the rest of them 
man. But he and I just, took our time. Yeah, we just hung out and ate snacks, and she wanted to go in the car seat because I think she was so tired she just wanted to sleep. Um, but while we were on top of the mountain, we got an interesting phone call. <laughs> we don't normally uh, answer our phones in general, no, uh, but, but we just it happened was, to. It was the campground. So it turns out we were supposed to check out today, um, which was news to us. Luckily, crisis averted. We called New Hampshire, mm -hmm. yep. and they are able to squeeze us in today in the same sites that we would be staying in tomorrow anyway. So we are gonna run home, which is, or run home, run back to the camper, about an hour drive-ish, uh, uh, get packed up, and get out of there hopefully soon. soon and get over to New Hampshire. So we ended up with a very busy day, despite yeah. uh, what so, we thought was gonna be a relatively moderate hike. Stressful phone calls. Yeah, but hey, we got it done, figured it out, and who knows, it might be a blessing. New Hampshire has a lot of really cool stuff. Yeah, because we... There's a lot of things we want to do there, so now we get an extra day. Yep. So I just made a mistake. I was backing out of our site and I was worried about the two cut down trees because I didn't want to run over those. And I ended up backing right into that nice sign there. So that did some fun damage to the back of the truck. Nothing bad. But I did hit a little bit. Womp womp. So, a little upset right now, but we're gonna take a break before we go on to the next place so we don't make another mistake. off to New Hampshire to start this adventure again, hopefully on a better foot. So please like and subscribe so you can join us in New Hampshire on the next video.